Hey guys, look where we are today on... <laughs> And this here is the trail system. Uh, we're surrounding a very large lake as I am going to be pasting in this video. Now we've got the wildflowers, which looks like they took a picture of the, uh, a whole mess of the blue bonnets there. And then, of course, there's rules to trail safety, and they built on an oasis, it looks. Let me zoom in on that. The Civilian Conservation Corps Companies, 1827 and 817, built the dam on Bee Creek between 1933 to 1935. Much of the dam that now impounds the 70-acre lake was built by hand, including the excavation for the core wall. As you hike or drive past the dam today, imagine how much manual labor it took to create Lake Meridian. Hmm. I would have to exactly find where that dam is. I don't know. And I didn't see no dam. We didn't go in the area with the dam, so. And the people before the park, Meridian was an oasis for people long before the Civilian Conservation Corps built the park in the 1930s. Prehistoric families hunted, forged, and camped nearby for thousands of years. And this area was home to historic Native American groups from the Caddo, Tonkara, and Richita tribes before European settlers arrived. Awesome. All right, let's go on and see this beautiful trail. Now, the way it stands, like, Excuse me. Um, they've got places that you could camp. And you're not even allowed to gather firewood here. You have to buy it from the, uh, from the rangers at the office. Which, there is a $5 per person fee. So, for me and my husband, it was $10. That gives you a permit to enter in on the grounds. So, as it goes, since you're not allowed to gather firewood, um, it is on the greater assumption that they want to keep this as natural as possible and undisturbed.
I gathered this right here as like a pull around for anybody who wants to stop and do hike or whatever. This is neat. Look at this cypress. I mean, this mommy is big. Look at her. Look at her base. They've had to cut a lot of her out. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Imagine how long it's took for her to branch out so beautifully. Wow. This is cool. Okay, this is like a, I guess this is a natural bird watch area. We've got the uh, gun cheeked warbler, of course, the cardinal. Okay, let's go on ahead and walk inside this little cabin and so like you can just come in here and look here they took these trees and they saw them made them into benches uh, they had to do this store bought <laughs> Chipwood and plywood, chipwood and um and two befores. Other than that, everything else is looks like they used old cypress trees. <sighs> so this apparently gets to flooding pretty good. But right now it's dry. But you could tell it gets a little deep when it rains. It'd be a little hard to see any birds. But at least you got a sight. Okay, let's continue on. All kinds of cypress through here. Lots of cypress. There's, this here is another big branched out cypress right here. It's not as big as the one I just showed you, but it's nice too. It's very old. These trees, they just, they branch out so beautifully. I mean, honestly, they're so gorgeous. And this one, one day, <clears throat> is going to have a lot of branches out. Of course, they're going to have to keep it a little tame, because it's right on the path to look at. They were just so beautiful. Shoot, I could, I could do all the filming just on these old cypress trees. I mean... My goodness, look at them, the way they branch. We're in a cypress forest, guys. Wow. This is so gorgeous. Sometimes getting out in nature like this wants me to make makes me want to cry kind of in a rejoicing tearfulness because this is God's creation this is God's beauty this is what he created these trees to do and they are magnificent look at 
the way that they branch out and they just one day this little fella right here is gonna have some cool branch outs I mean it just you want to rejoice because you're seeing God's originality now I'm not one of these EVP or EVAs or EBAs or EPAs whatever they are I'm not an envir environmentalist activist not in any means God did create this earth to take care of us humans but the areas that we don't touch the places that we don't mess with gives us a chance to also see his beauty before he had put man here so it's a wonderful thing to see that some things aren't touched I mean if we was to make it all buildings and cement it would become very boring then it would become all man-made and nothing God-made. Of course, except for the ingenuity that God gave to man to make buildings and roads and cements. But sometimes I just like to see what God made himself. And that man didn't bother. I'm on the verge of rejoicing right now just seeing this. I mean, this trail is supposed to be a nature trail. And we're literally going through a cypress forest. And it's just it's overwhelming. Our creator, our wonderful creator. What an imagination he has. So that nothing, absolutely nothing is precisely the same. It might be similar, but it is not precisely the same. Think of all the snowflakes that ever fall. I believe 100% what they say that there's never ever one snowflake alike. I believe it. God in his imagination, in his creation, in his perfect way of making things because his, his thoughts is infinite. It, it's just, our minds are limited. His isn't. And he's able to create every snowflake different. Hello. Hi. So imagine what he can do to the grass and the plants and the trees and the rocks and the waters and the creatures. Even humans that look like identical trends have their own little feature. I know a set of trends, a couple of them. I've got two uncles that's identical, and yet they look nothing alike. And then I've got two sisters in Christ that are identical, and I tell you what, growing up I never knew them apart. But now as adults I know them different. I know them. I know their differences. One is shorter and a little bit more daintier. The other is taller. 
Okay, we've got a truce to either go this way or out this way. Looks like not very many people go out that way. We'll go this way at first and then we'll go out the other way. We'll see where this goes. Anyway, yeah. And give God all the glory for this beauty. And no matter what man does to it. And I'm grateful that for these state parks that try to keep things as natural as possible. But anyway, we've got a chance to see it without it being ruined. I do very much appreciate though the roads and houses and buildings. <laughs> I'm kind of spoiled, <laughs> but um, I do greatly appreciate it. Now, I'm going to have to not so much do any scanning right now. I'm having to watch where I step because this is rocky. And I don't want to get tripped up, so you'll have to excuse what little bit of a view you get while I'm paying attention to where I'm going. Now they've got these trees marked. That cypress says, ain't nobody going in this little hole. But anyway, they've got the trees marked. So you could kind of keep an eye of where you're at. All right. Got a little bit of a step here. They tried to keep these rock formations as natural as possible. I think they probably done a little bit of chiseling on them, but not much. Well, kind of beautiful out that way. I can imagine that, like, when it rains, it possibly flows some down these. Yeah, sorry for the few words. I'm so busy concentrating on my steps. Nothing wrong with that, guys. You always have to be careful when you take these hikes. Pay attention to your surroundings and any outcroppings and stuff. Because you don't want to get tripped. You don't want to touch anything that might be poisonous. Either it be critter or plant. So you really gotta, you gotta watch. You gotta watch. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry that I keep getting choked up. It's the remnants of where my sinuses had given me problems last week. Okay. Yeah, it's got a sign down there. It says hiking trail, so we go on down this way.
Right, I am going to kind of step this side. That's a little bit too steep for these little short legs. Well, I'm assuming this right here is like a, similar to a wash or a creek. Yeah. So it's like a flow. Now I guess if you have to, you can actually step over some of these stones here. If it's not too deep. But as you could tell right now, there's no water flow. There's some more poison plants right here. So see, they're all over the place, all along here. You gotta really watch where you're at. Yeah, so it says right here, here's another wash. Which, honestly, something like that, I would love walking. I would walk up that. That's me. I love places like that. That's the way me and my ex would walk. Something like that when we'd go herbing. Oh, how I love nature. I love nature. I'm so glad Texas has got a lot of parks, I tell ya. I would have been so, how can I put it, not unhappy necessarily because I've got a good life here. My husband is good to me. I've got a great church, wonderful friends, awesome parent-in-laws. But I would have greatly missed the nature if they're running a bunch of parks. I honestly would. That would have made me unhappy in part. Being stuck to going to just a, a city park with a cement track. Nothing of real interest other than just Seeing a soccer field. No, I love these nature parks now. And I'm greatly appreciative of the little city parks. It's got the cement tracks. I am. Great exercise. But, I really like getting out in nature. That is my biggest thrill. Okay, it appears that we've come to the end of this. So, We'll turn around and we'll go back on the other way that said hiking trail. Mmm, no look here. Perhaps not. Look. All right. Traffic sounds clear. Yelp. My husband read somebody wrote that the trail goes around the lake. So perhaps this is part of the trail that actually does. They took a lot of care in working this park up to the point that it actually could be used by the public. 
but not to the point that it was destroyed. Okay, we're coming to a bridge. I might be able to show you some things. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, wow. How many knows what a lily pad looks like? There's some lily pads out there. Anybody see those? Lily pads. Those are what those famous pictures of frogs are on. Yeah, this is built for drainage. Yeah, see if I could get a better picture of these lily of these lily pads. Ain't that cool? And they really do have the indentation like the pictures. Not as prominent as the pictures make them, but if you really look closely, I don't know if you can even see that. I can. You can see where the stems go down into the water where they're rooted into the into the waterbed it's just so cool real lily pads folks that's first i've ever seen them real lily pads man things that i've always seen in pictures I get such a thrill out of stuff like this. I know I probably sound a little silly, but seriously, I do. Things that I've seen in pictures and learned about in school, and I finally get to see it. And like, I'm just mesmerized. Here's some more lily pads. Yeah, I'm gonna see if you can see the stems better where they're growing down. Uh, you see, let's see here, I'm going to point it up, like that one, you see it, stem is going down into the water, that's where they're planted, that's their, that's their stem, they're planted in the water bed. It looks like some people perhaps walks down here and does fishing. I don't know. All right, we are now at the other hiking trail and we are going to see where this goes. Now I had to turn around the way that we was going because there was a, a campsite and the trail actually ended there. It had uh, camp huts and boat ramps and docks. So yeah, we had to turn around. Um, got some really beautiful plants here. I really don't know what they are, but they're beautiful. Some more cypress. That's a big cypress right there. That's a big bloom top.
Huh. Okay. So this is called Little Forest Junior Hiking Trail. The trail that we was on that was blue is called the Bosky Trail. So let's see what little Junior's got. Still having to watch my step. It's loose rock through here. Definitely a forest. Got oak tree. Wonder if we'd ever see any pine cones. Or not pine cones, but acorns. This one's thick and beautiful. Another cypress. This is such a gorgeous day, y'all. God has been really good to bless me with beautiful days. Matter of fact, as I recall, the only bad day that I ran out to do any great walk was when I'd done Pogue Park. And it was so windy and I was running out of storage on my iPhone. The ones that the one that I use is my real phone. Uh, and so I couldn't upload on YouTube. So we got home and I was trying so hard to get it uploaded. And then here came a big rindy thunderstorm and then it quit and while that storm was going on my husband suggested I use his iPad well I was a little hesitant but when the storm passed I said okay if you don't care let's go back out to Pogue and I'll use the iPad and I'll do this over so I did and it was still like gloomy and extremely windy but it wasn't like it was when I filmed it the first time with the iPhone and that's what you guys have for the Pogue Park that was done on the iPad after the storm so but that's the only day I can remember that any of my great walks was stormy. Now, another, like, cloudy day I ran out. It was extremely windy. But was it stormy was when I went to Hewitt Park. And that was just more like overcast. But it was extremely windy. So, all these days that I go to these parks, 
God has blessed me with beautiful sunshine and comfort. It's not been too cold or anything. And just really great days for filming. Now, I guess in a way, it could be kind of Holy Spirit working on my husband because my husband's the one that says, well, we'll go on such and such a day for you to do your filming. It's not me, it's him. He says what day we'll go. And rightfully, he should. He knows if he's going to be too tired or if he's working. And, you know, I know his schedule, but I'm sure not going to ask him for us to go out to these further parks if he's too tired. So, I just figure that my husband and God's working together so that I can do these beautiful walks with you guys. And this, especially, I mean, I know that there's a lot of people out there who just can't get out and do this kind of stuff. Either they're too busy or they're physically not capable. My mother and my mother-in-law, my mother for her, you know, she's fallen so many times, she's, she's not up to doing these greater rocks anymore. She's still good, she could still walk and stuff, she doesn't use a cane or anything, she's still good. But for rocks like this, she wouldn't be able to go all the way. She would have to find places to sit and rest and stuff. And not all parks have got places to sit. So she enjoys these because back when I was a little girl, we would go to a certain park called Beaver's Creek at Gretchen's Lock in Ohio. And mom told me that we would go there often just to get away from things, just to take a little bit of a breather and relax. And so she misses getting to do that. Plus, she said there really isn't anything like that where they live now. And so she misses that. She misses getting out to do this kind of stuff. So I'm doing this for my mother and then my mother-in-law, who's got curvature of the spine really bad. And it's so hard for her to even walk at all. She does good to walk through her house. But she gets exhausted quick. Her back starts hurting her. So she can't do these either. So this is for my mother-in-law too. And both of them are my subscribers. And I love you and both. To you, Mom, and to you, Mama. I love you and both. You two are very awesome women. And I'm blessed to have you and both. So these walks that I do not only for the entertainment and pleasure of others who view them, but these walks are dedicated to you too because you can't get out and do this kind of stuff anymore. I do it for you. I love you and both. I am so emotional today, guys. I am 
just the slightest little thing is seriously making me tear up and that's not a good thing when I am trying to walk because I got to pay attention to where I'm stepping <laughs> and I can't see with teardrops in my eyelids but I am so emotional today I've got a very grateful heart today I am finding blessings all around me and I am growing to love each and every day more and more If I don't crit this, crit this tear jerk, and I'm gonna have to stop and pull out my hanky. I feel my nose starting to get a little drippy. <sighs> God is so good, guys. And it's wonderful to serve him. It's wonderful in being our father and as being his child. And there's nothing like him. No one greater. I'm going to have to take a stop right here, guys. I'm going to stop and praise my God for a bit. All right, guys. I've dried myself up. I gave God the glory and praised his holy name. A little bit of a boo-hoo. It appears that this trail is close to the park road. There was a car that drove by. Excuse me. Look at that one. Smells good through here. I smell flower. I don't see it, but I smell it. Maybe I'm actually smelling all the cypress trees. That could be what it is. They've had to cut some. Unfortunately, if you're going to keep a park trail, you've got to you've got to cut some trees. It looks like that one had gotten split by lightning, possible, or maybe the rate of the limb caused it to split. I didn't see any burn marks from lightning. So it could have just been the weight of the limb causing it split like that. As you could tell, the cypress has got very loose bark. Kind of like 
a piece of beef that's been cooking for a long time and it's got the strings on it. You can kind of tear it apart by the strings. And it's very rocky through here, so apparently cypress trees can grow and rock pretty decent. I love these rock shelves. They're they're fascinating. How they might have been at one time. Which I'm sure I'm sure the Indians walked through these woods too. And perhaps by their own footsteps they had hewn somewhat of a path. But as rocky as it is, I'd say it wasn't very much of a path. back down onto the blue trail. Oh, I know where we are. Wonder how the heck that happened. I don't know how that happened. I did not see us do a circle like that. Guys, we are at the end of our rope. I have done a complete circle to my husband. I hear the air conditioner running on the car. That's our car. <laughs> that is so cool how they ended up. I would have never anticipated that. So guys, this is where I'm going to say goodbye. And I hope that you enjoyed this hike. Now until next time. Bye.